Okay, so you guys know I live in a college town, a fabulous town, and I have a property management company in addition to the real estate brokerage. Because of these two things, I get a lot of inquiries from parents asking about student housing. Sometimes these calls are from parents who are really frustrated and really concerned because the rental market is really tight. Sometimes these calls are from parents who are a little bit panicky because the rental market is tight. In my experience, my town is not the only town that has student housing challenges. So let's talk about some solutions and some things for parents and students to be aware aware of when you are going down this road. First of all, does your new college student want to live in on-campus housing or off-campus housing? This is going to determine some of the next steps, so that's really the first consideration. If on-campus housing is the right fit for your kid, please start early. These are typically the units that go first. Once they're filled, that is one less option for your student. If off-campus housing might be a good fit, Hang tight because I'm going to give you the ultimate student housing hack in just a second. Okay, let's talk about on-campus versus off-campus housing. Understand the differences between on-campus and off-campus housing options. On-campus housing is typically provided by the university. It offers proximity to classes, a far more structured living environment. Off-campus housing, on the other hand, may provide more independence, but it requires additional research and some responsibility. Both of my kids lived in dorms and had a meal plan for their first year of college. It was one less thing for me to worry about on their behalf. So there's really pros and cons to both. So have that conversation with your new college student, weigh that out and make that decision. Okay, regardless of whether on-campus or off-campus is a better fit, if your student is renting, there will be an application process. Please start early. Make sure that your child submits the necessary forms, completes any required steps promptly to secure their preferred housing choice. This is where we see some hiccups occur. Sometimes the initial application will need some follow-up information or documentation. And if we don't get it, we have to move on to the next applicant. Also, parents, please be prepared to co-sign on the lease, especially if you're going to be renting through a private company or a private landlord. Very few young people have the necessary credit history, credit score, and income to qualify for a rental on their own. The co-signer's credit will probably be pulled and income verified just just like if they were a tenant. So please be prepared for that. Okay, I wanna tell you something. I want you to take this really seriously because it's something that I could potentially have some pretty significant consequences. If possible, please walk through the unit prior to signing the lease. I have seen students in rooms that are not safe because there isn't a proper way to get out in an emergency. For example, a converted home might have a basement that is a student rental. It's got a teeny tiny window and if there's a fire, they cannot get out. So please walk the unit, make sure that you're looking for those safety issues. Are the smoke detectors current and working? Is there proper egress? Is there anything else that could be a safety hazard for your child? Any of these conditions that need to be addressed, like once that lease is signed, it's really difficult to walk it back. So please do your due diligence on those student housing units. Okay, location and transportation. Consider the location of the housing in relation to the campus and other amenities in the town. Evaluate transportation options. Can your student walk? Can they bike? Is there public transportation? Is there a university provided shuttle to determine the convenience and accessibility for your child? Is your student going to need a vehicle? If your student is going to bring car to college, please check out the parking situation so you both know what to expect. In a lot of areas, along with a tight rental market, parking can become something that we have to deal with as well. Okay, I promise you the ultimate pro tip, the ultimate student housing hack. Here it is. I wanna throw out an option that I have seen be very successful. Does it make sense for you to purchase a home or a townhome or a condo in the city where your child is going to school? Think about it. I have a number of parents who have purchased a property, their child will have a room, and then they find roommates to pay rent for those rooms to help cover the mortgage. It's been a really successful strategy for a lot of families. It can reduce the overall cost of housing for the parents and the students. It creates a level of control over your child's housing. Parents, you can do this as a second home or an investment property 
or there is a way if you want to put your child on the loan and the title with you, voila, it is an owner occupied home and you can potentially get an FHA loan and only have to put three and a half percent down. If you have the ability to do this, it is a strategy that I really recommend exploring. If this is something you have questions about, let me know. I would love to do a deep dive into some of the pros and cons of purchasing a property for your student to live in while they go to college. So let me know what questions you have and any comments below. Thanks again, you guys. We'll see you soon.